This is Kevin with Advanced Leather Solutions. I'm looking at a cushion casing that a client sent us that's going to be using a kit to restore their leather. You can see that we have a, a fair degree of staining and we also have a fair degree of fading. So Dave, why don't you flip the cushion over so we can see what the underside looks like. So now when we look at the underside of the leather, when we look at it carefully, we can see that there's actually striation lines in the, in the leather coloring system itself. And so, Dave, why don't you lay down next to that what we did for our color match. So here's the color match, and you can see we recreated those same striation marks in the uh, swatch of leather that we used to create our color match. But now we need to demonstrate how we actually created that. So Dave's going to show us how to do that. We have colored a piece of leather that is the same as the base color of our target piece. Now we're going to recreate using a print color which we have put into this little plastic uh, container here to recreate the striation marks as we saw in the original. Go ahead Dave. Alright, so you want to take a, uh, we got an old terry cloth, you can take a old t-shirt if you want, you want to crumple it up in a ball and uh, so you can get some jagged edges um, and then take some off so we're dipping it into the color and then we're removing a fair amount of the color to the paper towel. And then just do go from left to right or right to left, whatever hand you feel comfortable with. And uh, that's how you would create the lines and then you would want to dry it and do a second so, pass. So what we're going to do, you can let it air dry, but we're going to hit it with a heat gun to accelerate drying. You can use a hair dryer to accomplish the same thing. So what the drying step actually is uh, taking the moisture content that is in the color and taking it out. So then what's the next step? Alright, then we're going to take the um, sponge applicator, which is in the kit. Um, you want to take off about 90%, 80%, and then you just want to go all over in a uh, erratic form, formation. And it's hiding the stripe lines um, ever so lightly, so it's, uh, so it's very subtle. Okay, so we, what we're trying to do is mute the striation marks just like they did on the original. So it's a two-step process. One, well, first you base, then you wipe with creating stripes, and then you tamp creating a darker overlay color to create this effect, which is consistent with what we see here. Thank you very much, Dave. That was a good demonstration. Thank you.